Once upon a time, far, far away, actually, it's just New York City, there lived a dumb blonde named Allie. As Allie was walking home after work, she decided to ride a 25-cent horse, her magical steed at the park. As she was sitting on the horse, she let her imagination run wild. She suddenly imagined herself as a knight. She was on a mighty golden steed as the wind blew through her hair. She was on a quest to find her Prince Charming. On her quest, she came across a cell phone stuck in a rock. She tried to pull out the cell phone with all her might, but it was unsuccessful. A lady climbed out of a pond nearby and walked her way. She said to her, Since you haven't pulled out the cell phone, you cannot meet the prince and marry him. Again, she tried to pull out the phone because she wanted to become queen. This time, she did pull out the phone. The lady told her how to get to the prince's castle, and they thought she went. Before she left, she asked the lady the, to the prince's number, so she could call him and let him know ahead of time. But the lady didn't know. After hours and hours of riding her horse, she saw a mall. She hopped off her horse and started screaming. Since she loves to go shopping, she started running as fast as she could towards the mall. After a few hours of shopping, she decided that the purpose of her quest was to find her prince. So she left the mall to continue her journey. Allie found her horse and got on. She started to go in the direction that the lady had told her. It took only three hours to find where she was going. She saw his castle and was overjoyed. She couldn't wait until she got to meet the man she would marry. She felt very successful because her purpose of her quest was to find her prince charming and she was about to. There looked to be presents and makeup on the front porch, so she ran to see. She loves her makeup and can't live without it, so she was so happy. When she got closer and could actually see what was on the porch, she felt embarrassed. She saw that it was just flowers and decorations, not presents and makeup. She knocked on the door and patiently waited for someone to answer. A servant answered the door, and she said she was here to be her Prince Charming. The servant took her to meet the prince. She was informed that his name was Sir Robert. When she saw him, she was so excited to get to know him better. She thought he was so good-looking and handsome. He asked her what she was doing there, and after ex she explained everything to him, he took her out for coffee. As they were having an incredible conversation, Ellie felt a tap on her shoulder. She didn't know where it was coming from because there was no one behind her. She finally realized that she had been imagining this all along. She felt embarrassed once again and thought to herself, I wonder how many people walked by and laughed at me. She got off her magical steed that she had been riding all along and made her way home. Maybe she'll find her real Prince Charming someday. The End